I've received a lot of questions about how I prepare for my daycare week and just as a mom how I prepare. So I'm going to take you guys along this Sunday afternoon as I get ready for the week. Hey guys, Sarah here from Work Life Glue where we glue work and life together one piece at a time and in order to keep our life glued together we have to prepare and so every Sunday usually during nap time I have a three and a three year old and a four a five month old now um, and so while they're napping I take advantage of that time to get ready for the week so I'm just going to share with you guys what I typically do every week's different of course but I just thought it'd be fun to take you guys along so let's jump right in so one of the first things I do is I pull out our meal plan for the week. This is the week we are looking at right here. Um, and if you guys want to know more about my meal planning, you can look at that video below. I will have a link to a meal planning video. But anyway, so I look at what I'm making for the week. We have our lunches along the top and our suppers along the bottom. And I just look at if I need to prep anything or pull any meat. So I'm going to need to make some chicken. So I have some chicken here I'm going to make in the Instant Pot. And then my husband already pulled the chicken sausage for this, which we'll eat here. Um, and that's pretty much it. For the pizzas, we usually just kind of work with what we have. Cheese pizza, pepperoni, or um, we'll kind of just play it by ear. So that should be good. I'm going to make up some chicken right now. So I'm just opening up this package of Never Any Chicken Breast from Aldi. There's four in here. I'm going to open them up, stick them in my Instant Pot, and add some water. And then um, I will show you the directions after that. So the chicken breasts are in here. Just going to put the lid on. Set it to sealing, or sealed, what does it say? Sealing. And then hit manual and let it go at 30 minutes and just leave it alone. Okay, while that's cooking, I'm going to take my fresh fruit I just got today. Um, I'm going to do pineapple and watermelon this time. I love these mini seedless watermelons because this will last us a couple lunches or like a lunch and a breakfast for the kids. And a pineapple usually just lasts us one meal if all the kids are here. So I'm going to cut those up so that I have them ready to go. And I also am going to be using this pineapple knife, which I will link to in the description. I really, really like it. It saves me a lot of time cutting pineapple. So let's get to it. One thing we normally do is go through the fridge and empty out stuff that we, you know, has gone bad or is, you know, needs to be cleared out. We already did that because I, we actually went and got some groceries this morning, um, just like avocados and produce and stuff like that and milk. Um, so our fridge is exploding with stuff right now, but it gets used very quickly and it's pretty impossible to keep this thing organized like some videos you see just because we are feeding 10 kids throughout the day five days a week okay the next thing I do is I look through my planner I already plan weekly um, usually before Sunday so I've already planned everything but if you want to know how I plan I have a an unpretty planning video and any other videos related to planning I will link below but I look through my planner and I just see if there's anything I need to prepare for like dance class um, and then I have a training this week so I I probably want to get like a dance bag ready at Celia's first dance class so just kind of look over and see if there's anything I need to prepare for the week as far as planning or getting things ready so I'm at the computer right now and I have my vision binder here and I have my rhythm register and if you don't know what I'm talking about I have a whole video on my vision binder check it out it's seriously an awesome resource that I'm just loving so I'm gonna go through and just like tally up how I did and then do my analysis that I do to reflect on how I did trying to reach my goals and looking toward next week Oh, 
baby is up. So I'm just in her room. Stan is actually home, but he's smoking some meat, his favorite hobby. Um, so while well, just trying to take advantage of this nap time, I'm going to plan um, Bryony's clothes. I'm going to talk to Celia and see if she will let me plan her clothes for the week. It was going so well because I would just plan them out, get them dressed, but she is back to wanting to choose what she wears and I'm not gonna, it's not worth the fight most of the time. So I'm gonna either let her pick out her clothes or just not pick out her clothes and I'll just pick out Bryony's for the week. I got this genius idea from Gia from Marriage and Motherhood. I'll link her channel below, but I have this organizer here that I absolutely love. This is where I keep the girls' clothes. If Celia will pick her clothes ahead of time, I will just put them on the right side, but I have Bryony's all laid out here. It's very easy. We keep it in our closet because we have more room. Um, we don't have a lot of clothes, so we have a lot of extra space in here for this to go. So this just naturally released on its own, so I'm gonna open it up and shred it. And then I usually just add some garlic powder, some Himalayan salt, and a little bit of black pepper. Okay, so Sam just has a little break from his smoking and I have the food ready. Brian, he's down again. So we're just gonna take a few minutes to look over our budget. Um, this is something we've been trying to do. He's been working crazy, but he's has the next few Sundays off. So we're gonna try to do this, look over our budget, do a like weekly budget meeting as Dave Ramsey recommends, cause we're Dave Ramsey followers. Um, and then we're also gonna look through his schedule in his planner and my planner and talk about that as well but I'm not gonna really film that but that's what we're gonna do right now so I do stay on top of laundry throughout the week I do two to three loads a day usually about which sounds crazy because we're only a family of four but um, with the daycare we have a ton of washcloths that we use to dry our hands and clean with so those are getting washed two to three times a week we do our clothes three times a week um, stay on top of it because Sam works out sometimes I work out he changes at work and stuff so uh, I get spit up on a lot so we're changing clothes a lot so I do that and then you know with towels and things like that and then the nap bedding I usually still have to do a load or two on the weekend so I'm just gonna fold some that I had going today So Celia's up now. She decided she just wants to pick out her outfit each day, but I did pack, um, or I picked out her dance outfit for her dance class and just stuck it in there. Um, but that is everything, um, at least for today, that I'm going to do to prepare for the week. Baby's up, Sam's about to get her up. So I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to know, especially if you're a daycare provider, what do you do to prepare for the week? Let me know if you like this video. I can always do more because every time is different. Um, and make sure you come back on Friday for a daycare day video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.